All right, Bourbon Quest. Ha <laughs> ha. It's your host, Bourbon Steve. All right, so what do we got tonight? So, we'll find out whether or not this is a hidden gem or whatever, but, uh, so if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're, we're literally on the verge of getting to 500 subscribers. We're like at 480, so hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything, does the channel a great favor. And when we do get to 500, we're getting a cat for the mascot here on Bourbon Quest. So hit that subscribe button, yo. Smash that like button. That helps out the YouTube al algorithms. Do yourself a favor. Hit that notification button. That way you don't miss a damn thing here on Bourbon Quest because it's, it's, it's about to be fall. Football starts up here in a couple weeks. Preseason games are already going on. And that's prime time bourbon hunting season. <laughs> and uh, yeah, leave a comment. So tonight, what we're doing is uh, Waithens. Uh, this is... Uh, Charles Medley Distillery, uh, not genuine without this signature. Matthew Medley, well, Wathan Single Barrel, personally selected Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It is a, a single barrel, uh, coming in at 94 proof. Uh, this particular one was uh, hand bottled on May 16th of 2022 no real information on the back and so anyways that's what we're doing is Waithens single barrel 94 proof hell yeah so and, and the bottle's freaking cool it's, it reminds me of an Elmer T. Lee bottle and uh yeah supposedly they're like one of the oldest distilleries in Kentucky a small distillery but um uh, anyways I first found out about it uh, a couple months ago from a guest at the mom uh, at the bar i guess they're from kentucky and um they were asking you know i was talking to them about my my bourbon channel here and they were asking me about waitings and i was honest with them like i never heard of it and like really and i'm like no i've never heard of it and they said it's freaking fantastic and so i did a little bit of research um uh, found out about them and uh even here uh, um on google whatever it is uh you know who makes waithens burger anyways the uh, waithens medley family has been distilling some of kentucky's finest bourbon for eight generations beginning more than a hundred years before prohibition a pro hundred years before prohibition uh today the company is run by the seventh and eighth generation sam medley and his father and master distiller charles medley so uh eight generations uh medleys uh again small distillery i hadn't heard any, anything about it up until a couple months ago when one of my bar guests was talking to me about it and i was like all right i'll i'll keep an eye out for it and then sure enough a couple weeks ago uh, i saw it at one of my uh, local liquor stores that i frequent and it's like let's give it a shot so obviously i've never had this before so we'll find out together whether it's any good or not how the hell is this cork on here all right i'm trying to figure out this cork situation how do you get the cork off there's no wax i guess you gotta cut it all right live youtube we gotta figure this out together. I hate doing this, but I don't know how else to get it open. All right, there we go. So, never had Waithens before. If you've had Waithens, and if you know a little bit more about their history and story, leave a comment. Let me know. And but anyways, it's a fresh cork pop. Oh yeah, hell yeah. All right, so we got a little Waithens in the glass. And then, of course, as always, here on Bourbon Quest, we do a uh, two-ounce pour into the Infinity bottle. All right, I hope it's as good as what they said. I have no idea. 
and there's not a lot of information on them. Again, it's a very small distillery, but been around for eight generations. Supposedly, it's supposed to be great, but we'll find out together. Wait, it. All right. Let's see what we got going on on the nose. I mean, it's, I mean, it's 94 proof. There's nothing exciting on the nose here. I mean, it's just your traditional vanilla, caramel, oak, maybe a touch of cherry. Not overly complex or unique on the nose, but let's see what the palate says. I mean, it's not bad by any means on the nose, just nothing that stands out or exciting, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, very sweet vanilla caramel. All right, cheers, Bourbon Quest. Mmm. Pretty damn good. I mean, wow. All right, remember, stay hydrated, my friends. Man, for 94 proof, it's got actually a good hug and good kick on it. All right, let's go in for a second sip. Like, Yeah, I mean, I get, I get that spice on the front, and then um, cherry, vanilla, caramel. Um, actually, pretty damn good. And I want to say it was around forty-five to fifty bucks. It is a single barrel, so it's going to vary, but. I think my bar guest was right. This is really good stuff. Let's go in for another sip. I mean, it's got a nice hug. You get that, that cherry and vanilla and caramel, touch of orange. I'm going to say I'm a Waithens fan. Like, this is really good. I don't know why I never had heard of it before. Um, but if you've had Waithens before or know more knowledge, by all means, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. But um, I think I'll pick up another one. That's really good. I mean, at 94 proof, it's got a, you know, decent hug. Um great flavor I really like it the bottles cool the names cool I mean you know that's the thing too is like there, there there's things like this this Waithens that have been around for eight generations including me that and maybe I'm not on the uh, on the download with this but uh, not hugely popular. I never even heard about it until a couple months ago when a bar guest of mine mentioned it to me. Uh, and I'm glad they, that they did because I would have walked right past this um, a couple weeks ago when I saw it on the shelf at you know my local liquor store. But because they in informed me that it was supposed to be really good, I was on the lookout for it and you know, a couple weeks after, maybe a month after, they mentioned it to me. I came across it and was like, yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. Um, and I'm glad I did because this is, this is fantastic. This is definitely a buy. I would buy it again. I might go buy it again this week. Um, I know there was at least, when I went to the liquor store today, one bottle of it uh, where I bought it previously on the shelf and I don't think that it's uh, widely available it's not allocated but I don't, because there are a really small distillery I've never heard of it before uh, but but 
And that's the thing too, is like you got gems like this that have been around for eight generations that may not be widely sought after or known about that have been producing, I mean, for eight generations, you know, I mean, there's not many people that can say that their business has been around for eight generations. And then, I mean, great, you got your big boys like Jim Beam and Jack Daniels and stuff like that. But then you got these hidden gems that, like I said, up until a couple of months ago, I had no knowledge about it at all. And until today, I'd never tasted it, but it's really great stuff. And then you compare that to, you know, especially the last 10 to 15 years, all the rebranding and new distilleries producing, I mean, even Castle and Key, you know, as great a, as I like the distillery at Castle and Key in Frankfurt and whatever, but then they produced, I had their batch too, and it was God awful. Whereas this has been around for eight generations making great whiskey and then people you know like castle and key basically a, a startup with an old distillery producing horrible stuff and then nobody really knows about this Wathens. and i would take this all day every day twice on sunday Wathens over castle and key bourbon i mean jesus hopefully Granted, I love Castle and Key. The distillery is really cool. The bottle's really cool. Hopefully, in a couple of years with some more aging and stuff, it'll be better. But in the meantime, go if you can get a bottle of this Wathens, pick it up, bro. It's delicious. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Oh, that's really good. So go pick you up a bottle of Wathens. It's delicious, been around for eight generations, great story, small, so I don't know how widely available it is. I never even, well, number one, I never was looking for it up until a couple of months ago. Never had, to my knowledge, even seen it until I was encouraged to give it a shot. And then, you know, within a few weeks, after my bar guest mentioned it to me, I did see it on the shelf and thankful. Thank you so much for um, informing me on this because otherwise I would have not bought it and I'm glad I did. Now I want to go buy another one. So go get you a bottle of Wathens. If you've had experience with this, let me know. I think it's a hidden gem that most people, including myself, I mean, I had no clue about it up until a month ago. And um, now I'm loving it. So that's like, you know, maybe I shouldn't tell you that because, you know, a year ago I was buying up and uh, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. And then especially the last six months, those have been hard to come by and, and it was one of those things like people think, you know, Jack Daniels, old number seven. Well, the single barrel barrel proof, hey, that's a whole different ball game. And then people found out about it. Now, over the last six months, it's hard to find. Luckily, I still got two bottles back here. And as a matter of fact, we'll be doing a review on this soon. I even picked up uh, with one of my local connection liquor stores. I got a, it's only a 375 millimeter, but it's the Jack Daniels, like I said, the barrel proof, which has, since everybody found out about it, become hard to get. But this one is, uh, what does it say? The little tag says, Specially selected by Chris Fletcher, Master Distiller. There you go. Get you, get you a look at that. So we'll be doing a review on that um, in in the near future. But that's freaking awesome. Because I love Jack Daniels. I mean, that's what I grew up on. And started, I guess, my bourbon quest with was Jack Daniels being here from Tennessee. And... 
um, they need to do more uh, barrel proof store picks but I'll take this uh, you know and I love Chris Fletcher so I'm excited about that so we'll get to that later just thought I'd I mean so my guy at the liquor store goes do you want a, uh, a special uh, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof by Chris Fletcher I'm like maybe let me take a look at it he brought it out I'm like yeah I'm like, how much is it? And he's like, it's the same as the regular 375. It's like 35 bucks. I'm like, hell yeah, I'll take one. So I'm looking forward to that. What's the proof on this? I didn't even look at that. It is. Jesus, I can't see anymore. It's a 130.4 proof. So we'll be doing a review on that in the near future. Thanks for hooking me up. Uh, with that um, but no this video is about Waithens let me know if you've had it before I'm telling you it's great go pick you up one if you can find one um, again they're small distilleries so don't know how many states they're in or what their distribution is like I'm just thankful that I was informed about it because um, otherwise I would have passed it up and not bought it but i'm glad i did now i want to get another one <laughs> that's that's a great thing about bourbon and the community is people informing they I mean that's what i want to do is inform you go get you a weight then cheers bourbon quest this is freaking delicious we're gonna wrap this thing up oh i'm telling you it's good bro all right, go pick you up at Wathens. We'll see you next time here on Bourbon Class. And as always, my wish for you is that all your Bourbon Class dreams come true. One of mine came true tonight. <laughs> That's a wrap, y'all. All right, we'll be back soon. Ugh.